Summer is around the corner, the countdown underway. That means putting the pedal down on planning. We have a wedding coming up in August to Michigan. Working mom Rose King is trying to piece together trip details for her family. They'll need airline tickets, a car, a place to stay. She's checking online sites like Kayak and Google Flights. You should also try Momondo for airfares. First tip, flexibility in your travel days makes it cheaper. I'm leaning towards a Tuesday through a Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday flights often show up with lower fares, and those planes are sometimes less crowded than weekend travel. Flexibility in your flights can help save money. If the price to New York City is sky high, take a look at nearby cities. It may pay to fly from Portland to Philadelphia, see a few sites, then take a train to the Big Apple. I know, I've done it. Once you start narrowing down flights on a travel site, take a peek at the airline's own websites. You'll find more options. Wow, it's nonstop. What'd you find? I found a nonstop flight out of Portland directly to O'Hare for 216 one way. Paying extra for that nonstop could be worth it. Less chance of delays and less stress. I know, I didn't do it. A shorter time span to keep your kids focused and happy and behaving on a plane. I'd, I'd be more willing to pay. Here's another tip. Check one-way fares. Buying a one-way ticket in each direction can actually be cheaper than a round-trip fare these days. I book spring break in Florida that way. If you find a decent fare, book it. Peace of mind and what's your time worth? I've been regretful for not buying the flight when it was at a low price and sort of delaying the purchase, thinking that the deal would get better. Did you know that once you book, you have 24 hours that you can cancel or change for free if it does go down? I had no idea. That's right. It's the 24-hour rule. If you buy a non-refundable ticket, federal law says you have 24 hours to cancel or change it without penalty. If you find a cheaper fare the next day, call the airline. They'll refund your credit card. You can also cancel and rebook for free online. I know, I've done it. Wheeling and dealing on a car rental will save you big bucks. Once you check a site like Orbitz or Priceline, try Costco's car rental site for members. No charges until you pick up the vehicle. The earlier in advance you book, the cheaper the rental. When you call rental companies, ask for discounts and keep asking. Ask to match bargains you found online. Warning, find out though if the rental office and the cars are actually at the airport terminal, not an offsite nearby. That'll save you a lot of precious vacation time. If you're heading for the highway, warning, warning, there are big changes at those toll booths. Hi. Thank you. How far apart are the toll plazas? 20 miles. 20 miles apart? Okay, thanks. About 75% of tolling facilities now don't even have a cash option. So you can't pay cash. You have to use a transponder or register your vehicle. You can buy a temporary electronic transponder in many states and use your credit card to preload it to pay the tolls. Rental car companies offer to rent you a transponder for a daily fee plus the tolls. That adds up. You can buy a temporary transponder often at a local drugstore or grocery store and preload it by calling the company a cheaper way to go. Your best bet? Get a navigation app like Waze that directs you to roads without tolls. A place to stay can eat up your budget. Once you check hotel prices, call the hotel as well to try and negotiate a better deal. Think senior rate, AAA. Ask for a better price, keep asking. And these days, what you find on the web, like at Hotels.com or Hotels Tonight, actually often offers a cheaper price than what the hotel itself will charge you. Whether you're one person or a family though, look at sites like Vacation Rentals by Owner, VRBO, and Airbnb. We can get so much more um, for our money at a very similar cost to a hotel. So if we paid, for example, $150 a night for a hotel, maybe we pay the same, maybe a little bit more per night, but we get the entire house which means the boys get their own bedrooms, we get our own bedroom, everyone sleeps better. <laughs> Take a closer look though for hidden costs, like cleaning fees, service fees. Warning, warning, get the address to make sure, especially in a big city, where you're staying is close to your activities. 
If all your travel planning leaves you exhausted, consider paying a travel agent. Handing those kinds of decisions over, to it, just being really clear about our criteria and handing them over to someone to do the legwork for us would be really valuable. So if you're planning on going, get going on planning. Lisa Balick, Coin6 News.